Hello, this is a video for everyone having problems with the condenser vacuum during the startup of the RBMK reactor unit 3. So first of all, I have already the reactor up and running here. The first thing, I, I think the most likely thing that will cause the condenser vacuum here in, in yellow in the flow chart or the trend chart, not going higher than like 16 kilopascal or so, is because you didn't patch correctly the files in the main repertory. First of all, I advise you to put the Chernobyl to unzip it in your seed directory. So in your root folder to avoid permission problems. And then you will need to substitute one file, which is this one I'm pa pasting here, Chernobyl04.icd. You look for it and it appears twice in the repertory and you substitute these two instances by the one I provide in the description of almost all my videos. This file was provided by Comrade3dr who found the the original file provided by Simgenix was damaged and he asked them for a new one or something like that. This trustable is not a virus and many people already tried it and I have many tutorials using it. So if you patch this and you don't yet solve the condenser vacuum problem, it may be because you have a disk rupture. What is a disk rupture? Actually, if you don't patch the IC file, it causes a disk rupture. You start the simulation with the ruptured disk. This is a mechanical device which is placed between the condenser and the feed water pumps, which are here. So I don't know exactly where, but it's within this path here, between the condenser and the feed water pumps. And this breaks if the pressure surpasses a, a given design level that should not be surpassed to avoid breaking this line here. So if the disk is broken, you cannot start up the reactor. That's why when in the alarms panel here, you have disk rupture problem. In this version, which is the legacy version of the simulator, you cannot continue the startup. Mm, if you already patched the, IC, mm, the ICD file, it can happen that you have rupture because you open the bypass. The bypass is this line here. Oh, no, sorry, it's this one here, which bypasses a turbine going directly to the condenser. <coughs> if you bypass the steam pressure mm, without going through the turbine before you build enough condenser vacuum, you break the disk and then you will never ever build the condenser vacuum. So this is the second reason if you still have a disk rupture problem. The third reason it could cause disk rupture problem is, sorry, it's not here is in the condenser vacuum system. There is here a switch, which now it's on because I clicked in, I clicked this during the startup procedure. If you forget to click this and you reach the, uh, the I think it's 16 kilopascal or so, which is the uh, ejection pressure of the vacuum. Um, if you don't click this, the vacuum will not build up. So you will be stuck at a very low vacuum. And the fourth reason, which is the reason why I don't have now condenser vacuum, I made it on purpose for this video, is if you forget to start the steam seal. The steam seal is a seal um, in the turbine that seals the, ga the gap between the turbine, sh uh, not shaft, the turbine rotor and the turbine shell. So avoiding the void being lost by this gap. So you start this and you will see when you start this, the condenser vacuum should start increasing. And now it, it increases very slowly because to make the video, I just reduced power set point to 6.5%. I will increase now to 10%, which is the standard value for a startup. Okay, we're now at 10% of power set point. We see how condenser vacuum increases. And after that, you can continue the normal startup procedure. So everything else is fine. We have a low deaerator pressure. 
these are these are normal warnings I think let's see if everything is fine and I can start spinning the turbine just to confirm that this fixes the low condenser vacuum issue so I will open the turbine valve I will open it initially at 6% Everything seems fine because steam is starting to flow through the turbine. Vibrations are increasing, but when we go, go higher than 7,000 RPMs, they decrease back. It's just an initial perturbation of the 20 RPM state. And you see, this was solved. So I will summarize. If you have low condenser vacuum and you are stuck here, you cannot continue to start up. There may be four reasons why this happens. First, you didn't patch correctly the Chernobyl 04.icd file, which are provided in the description of the video in the main repertory of the Chernobyl simulator. Second, you have you still have this rupture because uh, this can be caused if you didn't increase the main steam dam control before the pressure is too high. So here you you have to set it at 75 kil 7500 kilopascal before the pressure opens the the waste waste gate or the vi bypass uh, valve third air ejector you forget to click it and fourth steam seal you forgot to start the steam seal before it was the time okay i hope this solves your problems and you can go up to nominal power Bye.